I cover aquariums to reduce water evaporation and to hold land plants growing with roots in water. Just like in this a couple years old 1.5 liter glass jar self-feeding sustainable aquarium. This aquarium garden has land plants on the top and it's populated with aquatic plants, scots and tiny snails. It looks great and all I have to do is to add water as needed to keep it going like that. I have larger size aquariums outfitted in similar ways for growing land plants and to preserve water. I've been wondering how effective this type of covers in reducing water evaporation. And uh, what difference it would make without land plants. Let's check it out. Here I have three glass bottles of the same size with covers. Let's remove the cover from the first bottle. Use the covers of the other two bottles to make planters or holders if you wish. Make a hole in the cover. Insert a plastic straw in the hole and cut it to a desirable length. Make sure the straw fits tightly in the hole. I made both covers slash planters exactly the same. Now let's fill all three bottles to the same level with declarinated H tap water. I use the same type of water in all my aquariums. Leave the first bottle open and cover the other two bottles with the planters. And uh, put a live plant in the planter of the third bottle. So we will compare the evaporation rate and see what difference the plant makes, if any. For this experiment I use a plant from one of my 3 liter jar aquarium gardens with fish. Put the plant in the third bottle. Water evaporates faster from aquariums with larger water surface than in those bottles. The bottles uh, take less space and serve all the same for checking effectiveness of covers. I put all three bottles on a shelf with my aquariums next to the window away from direct sunlight. Make sure the water level is the same in all three bottles. And the straws are above the water level. Mark the water level in each bottle using a permanent marker for references. All set and ready on August 12, 2022. Ten days later on August 22nd. The water level dropped about 5 mm in the open bottle and in the bottle with the plant. September 5th. The water level is 1 cm down from the mark in the open bottle. No changes in the second bottle. And the water is 2 cm down in the bottle with the plant. October 18th. Two months after the initial setup, the water level in the second bottle dropped just about 2 mm or so. The plant has lost one leaf, that's what happens when plants are starving without nutrition. The cover works really great for reducing water evaporation. Yeah, 2 mm water level lost in 2 months. Compared to 25 mm lost in the first open bottle. And 40 mm evaporated in the third bottle with the plant. It could be 65 if there was no cover in this bottle. Water evaporates from the leaves of the plant in addition to the water surface evaporation. Now let's check for the algae. I see a lot of algae deposits on the walls and the bottom of the first open bottle. The second bottle has some algae on the bottom. And there is some algae on the bottom of the third bottle with the plant. December 4th. The plant is losing more leaves in about 4 months from the initial setup. And the water evaporation slows down in the third bottle. But look at the deposits of algae in the first and the second bottles. The walls of the bottle with the plant remains clean. By the end of December 2022, the water level in the first and the third bottle is about the same. The water level in the second bottle stays close to the mark. I'm proud of my planters. The first bottle looks dirtier than the second bottle. 
I think more dust gets uh, from the air into the open bottle contributing food for algae and adding dirt. That is another reason to praise the planters. March 2023. It's been 8 months since the initial setup. Let's remove the wilted leaves. I still may save this plant by placing it uh, in one of my aquariums. This process plant did really well for the 8 months long experiment surviving on water only. You saw the progression and now you see the end results. All speaks for itself. The planters prevent water evaporation and render it to none. The growing plants contribute to the water evaporation greatly and keep tanks clean. Well, now you have facts and knowledge and it's up to you how to use it. Check videos about my aquarium gardens to get some ideas and hows. And uh, there is always more than one way to do everything. Adding even simple covers like this one works great. I don't add water in my cube aquarium. Or take the idea to the next level and make a fully enclosed tank with land plants growing in water. The water does not evaporate from this tank and plants make it beautiful and keep the water clean. Have fun and happy aquarium gardens!